Longford Town 1, St. Patrick's Athletic 2 and Chris Forrester's penalty in the 80th minute saw St. Pat's advance to the second round of the Sports Direct FAI Cup but they were made work hard for the win by a battling Longford Town side. Forrester put the spot kick away after 10 minutes. Town had equalised through Mohamed Boudiaf in the 77th minute. Town finished the game with nine men after referee Rob Hennessy bizarrely showed straight red cards to Dylan Hand and Jack Brady in the final 10 minutes of the game. The town had a glorious opportunity to break the deadlock with just four minutes gone on the clock. Christian Magarusen played the ball out wide to Josh Gergie before getting into a good position to receive it back. But Pat's keeper, Dean Linus, pulled off a great save to deny him. Pat started to gain possession and control the game. In the 25th minute, Jack Brady pulled off a superb save to deny Mark Dial with who hit an excellent strike. Town defended well and broke in a number of occasions, but failed to create anything of note. Hand put in an excellent tackle on Connor Carthy in the 50th minute when he was through on goal. Minutes later, Forrester played the ball wide to Doyle. He caught inside the box, but hit the side netting. Down the other end, Aaron Walsh headed wide. Hand blocked Forrester's effort in the 58th minute, and one minute later, Brady denied sub Jack Mulraney. The pressure was eventually to pay off for Pats when Adam Murphy put them ahead in the 64th minute. Brady had saved from Carthy. The ball came back to him, and he played it to Murphy, who fired home from close range. Stephen Henderson made changes, and they had the desired effect. A throw-in from Hand was headed into the path of Mo Boudiaf, who hit a stunning strike past Linus. Before that, Josh Gersh, had hit the post. Pats were awarded a penalty in the 80th minute when Aaron Walsh and Thomas Lonigan's feet tangled. Forrester duly dispatched the spot kick. In the final 10 minutes, there was drama as match official Hennessy made himself the centre of attention. He first showed hand a red card for a collision with Sam Curtis in the 82nd minute. And as the clock ticked down, Brady rushed out of his goals, collided with Curtis and was shown a straight red in stoppage time after he had received attention. It finished at Bishop's Gate along for Town 1, St. Patrick's Athletic 2.